Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to enable the built-in administrator account on Windows 11, but these instructions will also work on Windows 10. Although the administrator account is disabled by default, since it is now required and it could impose a security risk, advanced users and network administrators may sometimes need to enable it, troubleshoot issues, and manage system settings. Okay, let's look at different ways to enable the admin account on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Also remember to check my website for more Windows tutorials and tech news. Method one, enable the administrator account on Windows 11 from command prompt. This method is going to work on Windows 11 Pro and on Windows 11 Home. First, open start and look for command prompt or the terminal. Right click the top result and select the run some administrator option. Now, type the following command to enable the account. Once you completed the steps, you need to sign out from the current account to sign in with the administrator account. So, just to show you that the administrator account appears on the lock screen, I'm just going to sign out. As you can see, it appears right here. And now we're going to log back in. Now, after making the configurations that you need using that account, when you no longer need it, just open start and look for command prompt of the terminal again, run as administrator, and then you will need to run this command to disable the account. As you can see, the only thing that changes is the last option, which is no, instead of yes, and then press enter. And that's it. Method two, enable the administrator account on Windows 11 from PowerShell. This method will also work on Windows 11 Pro and on Windows 11 Home. To start, just open the Start menu and look for PowerShell or the Terminal. Right-click and run as administrator. And in my case, I'm going to open a PowerShell console. And then to enable the default and built-in administrator account on Windows 11, you just need to type this command, get local user name, you need to specify administrator, and then we need to pass the enable local user option, then press enter. If you want to see this on the lock screen, Let's just lock the device and you're going to see the account right here. Now, if you want to disable the built-in administrator account with PowerShell, we need to do this. Open start and look for the terminal, run as an administrator. And in my case, I need to open the PowerShell console right here. And then we need to run the same command, but we need to pass the disable local user option and then press enter. Now, let me lock the device so you can see that the administrator account will no longer appear on the list of users, as you can see right here. And that's it. Method three, enable the administrator account on Windows 11 from the Computer Management Console. Now, this method will only work on Windows 11 Pro. You won't find the option to enable this account on Windows 11 Home. So on Windows 11 Pro, do this. Open Start and look for Computer Management and open the app. Open the Local Users and Groups branch, then select Users. In here, you will notice the administrator account, which has this icon that indicates that it's disabled. Right-click on it and choose the Properties option. Then clear the Account is Disabled option. This action will actually enable the account. Click Apply and click OK, and you can close the console. Then if we go to the lock screen, we are going to see the administrator account is right here. Now, if you want to disable the account, open Start and go to Computer Management. And then from Local Users and Groups, select Users, right click Administrator, select Properties, check the Account is Disabled option, click Apply and click OK. And that's it. Those are the three different ways that you can use to enable and disable the default built in administrator account on Windows 11. As I said before, this option will also work on Windows 10. Now, let me know in the comments the method that you use to enable the account and why you picked that option. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.